Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench. This video is about how to install VirtualBox into Ubuntu 12.04. VirtualBox allows you to run multiple operating systems on a single computer. The original computer is known as a host and the additional operating systems are known as guests. The outcomes for this video include download the latest version of Oracle VirtualBox, download Oracle VirtualBox extensions, Install VirtualBox into Ubuntu 12.04 using the Software Center. Install GNOME System Tools using the Software Center. This is a tool that you're going to need or actually helps you assist to manage VBox User and VBox SF for shared folder groups. Install VirtualBox extensions. And then finally configure the VBox User and VBox SF groups using GNOME System Tools. Requirements, Ubuntu 12.04 operating system, an internet connection, and enough memory or random access memory to run both your host operating system and your virtual operating system at the same time. Additional info, of course, is at VirtualBox. There is a disclaimer in this video. In order to create this video, VirtualBox was installed on a virtual machine. This allowed for multiple retakes and cleaner screenshots. You should install VirtualBox on your host machine. VirtualBox does not support embedded levels of virtual machines and the basic reason for installing it here in this video was simply to make a better video. So make sure you install this on your host machine otherwise it may not work. VirtualBox can be downloaded from the Ubuntu Software Center key in virtual box one word and it's right here virtual box and let's go take a quick look at it and we'll get some more info from it uh, you'll see that it's, it's version 4.1.12 currently virtual box actually has is delivering virtual box version 4.2 point something and so this is not your latest version I'm not going to go install this, but uh, show you how to use the Software Center to install the latest version of VirtualBox. So for now, let's close the Software Center. In order to install VirtualBox, we need to know whether we have a 32-bit or 64-bit machine if we're not downloading it from the Software Center. In order to do that, we go to System Settings and go to Details. And here's our machine, uh, VBox Ubuntu and the operating system type is 32-bit so we're going to download the 32-bit VirtualBox if you had a 64-bit machine you probably download the 64-bit VirtualBox so let's go ahead and close this let's go to the browser and here we are at the VirtualBox website virtualbox.org we go to the downloads page and here's different platforms for Windows, for OX, for Linux for Linux. Click on that. We're going to use 12.04. We're going to use the 386 which is a 32-bit. AMD 64 is a 64-bit. So click on this and we're going to save the file. Once VirtualBox is downloaded, we'll go back to the downloads page we're going to get the VirtualBox extensions that provides support for USB 2.0 devices VirtualBox a remote desktop protocol and uh, Pixie boot for Intel cards so we're going to go click on this uh, all platforms and we're going to save file so all the downloads have completed so let's go ahead and close this we'll go open up the home folder or Nautilus and we'll go to the downloads and here we have VirtualBox the actual it's a Debian package which means that it will install with a software center that's a .deb right there so we'll just click on it in my case I'll have to double click on it and the software center will come up VirtualBox 4.2 click on install and of course you've got authentication 
authenticate. So I'm going to launch, watch the progress bar. Once VirtualBox has been installed, as long as we're here, let's go take a look at this uh, software center. Click on all software again and we'll get to the search. There's something that you need to install to help configure VirtualBox and that is uh, GNOME System Tools. G-N-O-M-E System Dash Tools. And it's cross-platform configuration utilities for GNOME. We need to also install this because we have to do one configuration setting to uh, add the user to the VBox user groups. So let's go ahead and install this also. Once it's installed, got the green arrow. So let's go ahead and close this. To install this extension pack, we need to log back in and log back out uh, so it can find where VirtualBox is at. Rather than log back in, I'm just simply going to do a, uh, a shutdown and reboot. A restart. It'll also allow us to find the uh, user, uh, the GNOME system tools when we restart this. Here we've restarted, and we go to our home folder again, to the downloads page, and now let's install this extension pack. Notice that's come in with a nice green color this time, so it's ready to be installed. So we just click on install. It asks that you uh, submit. I agree. Click OK. The extension pack was installed successfully. So now let's go ahead and close this. And I'm going to move this up here. Here we have uh, Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. And I'm just briefly, quickly going to create a new machine. And the purpose is not to show you how to create a new machine, but actually uh, how to do some uh, configuration that you're going to have to do. So we we'll call this WinXP Next. Give it about 256 megabytes. Click on Next. Uh, create a virtual. Create. Next. Next. Create. There are videos that show you how to do this. Now the problem is if we go right here and you'll get a virtual box warning. Fail to access the USB subsystem. So we'll simply click OK right here because you're going to have to do a configuration setting. This configuration setting is basically the GNOME system utilities that you installed earlier. We go to user, and here it is, users and groups. Go to manage groups. And scroll down, and we got VBox users, properties. Here's the group members, and you can add how many group members you want OK. You'll have to enter your authentication. Authenticate. Now you notice also it's VBox SF and this is uh, shared folders. So let's change the properties on that. Also, if you want to share a folder between the virtual machine and your regular machine, click OK. Close. Close. If we go back to it right now, you'll notice that we still get the virtual box warning. Basically, what what has to happen is you've got to log in and log back out for that to go away. So we'll log out. We'll log back in. And now if we want to start something or change our settings or anything, we can go ahead and do all our changes. We've got, we've got the actual permissions to do this. The next video, I'm just going to install Windows XP in this, and rather than show you through the whole installation, I'm just going to show you actually running inside uh, the screen.
Here's a Windows XP virtual machine running inside an Ubuntu 12.04 VirtualBox installation. When you do your installation of VirtualBox, please do it on your host or hardware computer. Although this installation into a virtual machine for video presentation seems to be fully functional, installation of VirtualBox into your host system or your host operating system is the way to go. If you need more information on installing an Ubuntu virtual machine with VirtualBox, there are additional videos on this channel. So up comes the welcome screen. We can go to start. Um, there aren't any programs on this control panel. The control panel will, and you can go ahead and uh, modify this machine. As I stated, this, this is fully functional, but the best way to install it is into your hardware or host operating system computer. Want to see uh, how to uh, how to create a virtual machine? Uh, there are videos on this channel dealing with Ubuntu virtual machines. Thank you.